myself for 18 years that since I've been doing this disease we've been working uh, pretty much around three classes of drugs. We had endothelial receptor antagonists, we had drugs working on a nitric oxide pathway and we had drugs working on the prostacyclin pathway. And they, some of them have a little bit different mechanism of action, but these are the, the you know, the three major uh, uh, pathways of using. And there are exciting uh, things happening right now in, in, this, uh, in this field. So, for example, we are looking at other mechanisms of action of the drugs. Uh, we are looking, for example, at anti-proliferative drugs or drugs that work on the mitochondrial oxidative mechanism. And we, we have drugs, bardoxolone, for exa example, that is, is, uh, is uh, um, uh, studied currently and we have actually two trials with that one. We are looking at uh, other mechanisms of actions that are completely novel, for example, pyruvate dehydrogenase inhibitors. Uh, and we are just, you know, starting with the, uh, the very incipient stages for that trial. Or we are looking at the alternative ways of delivering uh, the drugs that we already have available. For example, in the prostacyclin pathway, we have inhaled medications, we have continuous medications, subcutaneous and uh, intravenous, and we have pills. When you give pills or inhaled, you actually have peaks and valleys of the level of the, of the medication. It's a trial, we finished enrollment uh, nowadays, it's a trial in which they try to combine orals with inhaled, so they, you know, they have a constant level. It's a very interesting concept of delivering, you know, that class of medication to the patient without su subjecting them to continuous parenteral medications. Other very interesting study that's going on is the inhaled nitric oxide, uh, uh, nitric oxide study that we have going on right now. So uh, nitric oxide it's a good vascular mediator that it's keeping the blood vessels open. It's increasing the, the pulmonary uh, blood flow. And we have various ways of, you know, manipulating this pathway as, uh, uh, you know, for example, using PD-5 inhibitor or using soluble uh, guanacyclase inhibitors. But this inhaled nitric oxide is delivered uh, in, uh, straight in the pulmonary vasculature of this deficient good factor nitric oxide that happens in pulmonary hypertension. Yes, so I know Pulse is able to deliver nitric oxide to the patients uh, with a very small, light, and elegant device that actually people can use around, uh, uh, in, you know, like it's, it's lighter than a regular canister for oxygen, for example. In the past, the cylinders for nitric oxide, we are using that in-house. In the past, the cylinders for nitric oxide were very heavy, very large, almost impossible to actually uh, uh, move around. Uh, well, this device, the Ino Pulse, it's a small device, couple of pounds. It's, it's easy to, to, uh, uh, to carry around with you. So that's the main advantage of it, the, uh, the ease and the practicalities of, of delivery of the nitric oxide.